screen game sorry this time this is a little bit of a strange kind of theory and this one is potentially a donker one for the real one the roping <laughs> you can watch best and soft's new video on that on the main facts about the roping Roping, but the roping is pretty much, pretty much, but many people would say a surviving pterosaur, and I had no idea the roping was what's that strange flying African cryptid. Although I'm just gonna, at the first time I just said Rodan. <laughs> sorry, sorry if people who, who are native Sudan were possibly this. Anyways, found the main sighting of it. It's in World War Two in of Africa. Why well, didn't partake in in World War Two? Possibly because it's an animal, animal. But why wasn't it mainly participated, participated in the World War Two? Even though it pre, they say they love already dead. Human beings, apparently. So basically, we can narrow it down to a scavenger that flies. They can say a Ranthalinkus with a long crest that can glow in the dark. A glow in the, another glow in the dark pterosaur. Pterosaur. Two of them is in Minecraft Jurassic World. The bioluminescent Pteranodon and the bioluminescent. Are you ready for this? Dimorphodon. They look different, but if we are able to combine DNA, then we'll possibly have this hybrid. If we have Evil Dimorphodon or Ramparinkus DNA plus Pteranodon DNA and make it bioluminescent in some areas, areas and only scavenging, then we can actually, actually manufacture that cryptid that for who knows what reasons. We can possibly even manufacture so more cryptids than we can possibly even think. But what if we can not just manufacture them, but also genetically change them? What if some cryptids are out there, they are, which are pretty much a surviving species, like dinosaur for a raptor found in, like species of raptor in South America, Brazil, apparently, the people, the Irenesis say that, that dinosaurs no longer exist, it likes to count the avian ones, that's me, okay, but they did see and say raptor, mean that, that a man of raptor, possibly a Deinonychus, has been surviving for so long in the tropical environment, humans are now bringing it out and awakening it, possibly the same with the pterosaur, possibly the same with the pterosaur what if we are actually what if these cryptids are actually being awakened by us what if these are somewhat of a titan cryptid somewhat titans like godzilla and rodan and, and but they're real things that need to eat not radiation we eat the real things Things that normal animals would eat, including other animals, especially apex predators. Could we be seeing in the future if we get enough DNA of cryptids, us manufacturing them? This is a three minute video. So if you want to, you can like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.